they'll have a volunteer sticker on as far as uh, being able to help with the computers, technical things like that. If they have any problems and they can't figure it out, have them call my cell phone, which they'll have the number, and I'll keep coming and checking down here too so we can make sure we have all of our computer things ready to go. Guy Fortin. Right. Rick Rogers. Jonathan Orrick, Marrowgate Farm. Lynn Kroll, what's kind of folks here? Cliff Orrick, yeah. Studio Landscape. Sustainable development, we're talking about development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. When we think about this sustainability, it's important to realize that it's, that this visual metaphor of a three-legged stool kind of gives us an idea. There are three usually considered separate um, aspects to this, but they really all have to be there if we're going to have a sustainable growth. Economic, social, well oh, we had all this stuff. I think Lars was telling me about it. Was like a store involved on it? Something that you don't use, like an old muffin pan. Uh huh. Then you let them cool, and you have. These crayons. And are you use those for crayons again then? Yeah. Oh, those would be great. They're all different colors. And what do you use in your profits for? To help the school go to make it? Shirts? Fish print shirts? Yeah. Oh, with fish. Oh, my. They're beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good thing. Yeah. Give me, give me some uh, tomatoes. Okay, they're all mixed up, and each package has at least um, four varieties. Asset-based community development. A, B, C, D. Too often, government. And I want to flip that up and say, what have we got to offer? What are the resources we have to work with? What are our strengths as a person, as an individual, as a mother, as a family member, a business owner, a community organizer? Is there one that you can show her? You can show her the black one then. Thank you. I think this one. Can you look? It's 100%. So it has a black and black. Oh, yeah.
they decided that the food that would be grown under organ till would be incredibly strict. Like you cannot use BT, which is a natural product, but it's created in a lab. Um, USDA, no problem, use BT. Um, they're very, very fussy. And so if you eat, drink milk from Organic Valley, which is organ till certified, you're eating the best you can. And everybody's, everybody's here, I know, it's a big party. Yeah, it is. All right, we're going to talk.